first major team that you played for, and what was your number? Chicago White Sox, number 17. <laughs> Next team? Next team was uh, AAA with the Yankees, um, Columbus Clippers, number 8. And then with the Yankees, number 61. Woohoo! Which is. <laughs> So today is a special day. Why did Don, uh, like how have you known him for a long time? Like how did you come to be with Don us today? I got reacquainted um, at an MLB alumni dinner in Manhattan about 15 years ago. And then we saw each other at the Hall of Fame game in Cooperstown. We played together. Excellent. And that was in 2011. Now being a catcher yourself, were there any other major league catchers that you kind of like, I don't know, that you really liked? Well, I loved Yogi. Ah. You know, Yogi wasn't my favorite. Uh, you know, I idolized Thurman Munson growing up as a kid, but Yogi was probably my favorite. The best. The absolute best. What's one thing that people do not know about a baseball catcher that you want them to know? Uh, well, we try to take charge of the game. Um, generally, the pitchers think they're in charge, but it's it's where the where the generals on a field. Got it. So when you put your glove there and you give the finger underneath between your crack, right? So what are some of your signs that you used to use? But do them up here. <laughs> well, we, well, we used the old one, you know, fastball, curveball, okay. change up. Basically, all everybody had. Um, if, you had if you had a splitter, we'd give it another. You know, but usually, fastball, curveball, change up. Okay, so teach me. Fastball. Fastball is what? Curveball. One finger? Right? Curveball. Curveball. And then change up. Change up. Just wiggle your fingers. Got it. And so change up means throw whatever you think the person's not going to expect. And then if you want to hit somebody in the head, you, you go like this. <laughs> because they're a jerk. Flip them. Hey, better, better, hey, better. Bye-bye. We, we flip them. <laughs> Thank you. So, Billy, hi, how are you? What made you decide to do stand-up? To do stand-up. It was my 43rd birthday. We went to McGuire's Comedy Club. And then after the show, we had a great time. I said, come on, let's get out of here. And my friend said, no, nah, come on, let's go to the bar and have a drink. So while we're at the bar, the comedians that performed that night was Paul Bond and Leanne Lord. And we started talking with them. And I said to Paul, I go, that doesn't seem that hard. And he's like, uh, do you want to try it? And I went, no. And then he told me that McGuire's had a uh, comedy class. So with the comedy class, I said, all right. So I took it. And then, uh, then I got bit by the bug. The second time I did Once you get bit, I mean, it bites hard. I was, I did the one show, May 3rd, 99. I did it, okay, it was in my thing. And then they sent me a flyer to do an alumni show. And uh, I said, you know, I had one, had fun, I'll do it again. And when I did it the second time, John DeResta was in town. Now, John DeResta was a transit cop who wrote a one-man play. Paramount Studios liked it so much, they said, quit the police department, move to L.A., we're going to give you your own TV show, we're going to call it DeResta. He was the headline in the show. I came off the stage, he goes, you're real funny, how long are you doing comedy? I go, that was my second time. Come here, I want you to meet my dad. Turns out his dad's a retired fireman. And me and John became close friends, and he's the one that really like pulled me into it. I went out to a night with him and this, this guy, Steve Marshall. We had such a blast. Yeah, and he goes, I go, you do this? He goes, every night, this is what we do. I go, that's it, I'm gonna be a comedian. And that was it? That was from 1999, yeah. yeah. And John and I are still very good friends. Steve Marshall's a really good friend of mine. When I'm in Florida and these guys come into town, I always go over and I say hello to them. Vic Potato was just there. Bobby Collins is a regular. Yeah. All right, so now when we bat, is holding a bat anything like holding a fire hose, right? So let me see. Like, all right, so if I'm batting, right? Isn't that kind of the same motion? No. Show me. <laughs> nice try. See, well, I'm going to bat. I'm going to do the Ernie Banks batting stance. Okay. Now, Ernie Banks is standing with his We hold it a fire hose, it's tuck it under your arm, open it up, get on your knees, crawl in, and put the fire out. Oh, teach me. So it goes <laughs> under your arm. You put right? it under your arm, uh -huh. you hold it nozzle out front. All right, nozzle's out front. You gotta be on your knees. Okay. Open it up, you're gonna get pressure pushing you back. Oh yeah, I feel it. And you gotta crawl in. Crawl in, don't be a coward. Get in there, you ah! <laughs> Hopefully there will be no fires today on the field. Be well. Thank you. And I know that you're heading to Texas to do a new pilot. Are you excited about that? I'm super excited. It's called A Still Small Voice. Um, and it's a very wholesome, it's something like Jesus of Nazareth. I'm playing uh, Leia, a recurring role actually. Um, written and directed by Deborah Paulson. And I couldn't wait to work with her and vice versa. 
And yeah, I'm, sh I'm leaving Tuesday to go to Texas to shoot there. Oh. 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 Dive! 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 So Candace, you have this new show coming out called Heavy Hitters, and I see that you brought out the Heavy Hitters, and you yourself are one. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. I brought my boys out. Um, I have Brandon Joel Rothstein and Aiden Thomas Dyson, River Perkins, um, Thomas John Lianzi, and Mark Keegan. And they wow. all, they're actual ball players, which is how I cast the show. And we start shooting in like three weeks. It's exciting. I heard that uh, I think people are already going to be airing this, correct? Like, uh, there's, you're in talks. Yeah, we'll just I'm say, in talks. she's in talks. She's in talks. So exciting. What is this series about? It is about a pre-draft combine, and it follows a bunch of uh, professional baseball hopefuls in a tournament-style combine. Now, you've always been a lover of sports and movies, uh, but sports in particular. Tell us about your athleticism. So I love baseball. I started out playing baseball, then I played softball, and then um, well, I played baseball until the dads decided that they didn't want a girl playing with their boys. So they put me into softball, and then I played baseball again because I was too good for softball. Played baseball, and then they were like, no, nah, we can't do that. we got to put her back into softball. And then I was in softball, and I was like in my very early teens playing with 18-year-olds. Wow. So, wow. yes, yeah, so I love I love baseball. I love softball. I'm really excited because we have some MLB players. And yesterday, Nelson Figueroa came out, who played with the Mets, and he actually pitched to some of the boys. It was wild, wow. wild. I'm loving this for you, really loving it. And we're here today uh, for Breast Cancer Awareness, and you're playing what position today? I believe I'm playing first base today. Woo! All right. Woohoo! Stay tuned. We're living it up right here. So, Coach, you've been here uh, many years. How did Mick uh, Du Russell first get you to participate? I ran into him at a function at a local tavern in this in uh, Ronkonkoma that he was doing a, a fundraiser with bands. Okay. And he mentioned to me about managing, and I I liked it, you know. So, I thought it was pretty good, and I've done it for quite a few years. Last year, I had a scheduling conflict. My grand my nephew's uh, 60th birthday party kind of got in the way of it last year because there was a rain out. Anyway. We missed you. You know what happened? They took one of our celebrity players and put them on the chamber, and for the first time the chamber won, because you were missed. Just saying. Well, we got to win today, right? Well, but look at these young kids. Forget about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got to We're on it. Fingers. We're on it. Yep, we're on it. Um, your first day in the majors, what was that like for you, Don? Uh, I remember it very well. It was at Wrigley Field. First pitch I threw was... A high outside fastball to Rick Monday, a left-handed hitter, and he uh, popped it up between third and uh, the dugout, and that was the end of the game. In the second game, I pitched the last two innings of the second game, and I never pitched two days, two innings, two games in the same day, so that I had a little sore arm the next day. But yeah, I'll never forget that day, Wrigley Field. Yeah. Growing up as a Cardinal fan um, and everything, and playing at Bush, and now they made a new Bush Stadium. Interesting, right? Have you been to both? I've obviously been to both, right? Well, I pitched in the other one. It was right? forget about it. It was like a barbecue pit. <laughs> the, the field temp was 130, 40 degrees. You couldn't stand in one spot in the outfield when you when you taking a shag and fly balls. The new stadium is very nice. I went last year to see a friend of mine, uh -huh. and his son's there working for Boeing. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I spent five days there last year. Stay tuned for more. We've got all that action. And Don might bat, maybe? Yes, possibly. Uh, you bat, I'll run. My, How about if I what if I bat, you run? I keep, my, my grandson's coming. If I bat, he's running. There you go. <laughs> we got a plan. Hey, hey, with Joan Rothstein. I hope I'm saying that right. Let's go. And it's grandma. He's playing for his grandma. Who doesn't love Joining us now is Mick D. Russell. Mick, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Now, you are one of the co-founders of this celebrity charity uh, event that happens for the Ron Konkuma Chamber of Commerce yes. uh, to benefit breast cancer. Yes, Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, that's the charity. Excellent. So since 2013, um, although we had a couple of years off for the pandemic, uh, but we're back once again. What makes a day like today so special? Well, it's raising money for a great cause, and so many people have breast cancer these days. You know, we're trying to put an end to it. It used to be one in nine. I think it's like one in eight possibly it's now. incredible, yeah. I, what I love about it is it's like, it's kind of like the famous um, Savannah Bananas, but we were doing it long before them, right? I mean, we have a lot of fun. Yes, it's been, it's been a while. Okay. Still comp it's still competitive, though. Yes, it is. Did the Chamber win last year? 
Um, For the first time. Yes, we did. For the first time. I just want to let you know that the celebrity team every year has been way, way better. Um, Yeah, wait. Michael, we have somebody off camera that wants to join in. And your name is? President Ed McNamara, President. So uh, what happened was we weren't happy with the way the game was going, and in true Ron Conklin fashion, we changed the teams. I took the best player from the celebrity team and put him on the chamber. Exactly what he did. He stole members of our celebrity team. He put ringers on his own team, and I, you know what? You deserve to win. You won one time. Okay, I'm still taking, I'm still taking ownership of that win. When uh, you have vendors out here, tell us what we're in store for today. What's that? I'm sorry? Tell us some of the things that we're in store for today. You have like some sponsors and things like that. Go right ahead. Go grab a shirt. (laughs) Chamberside anyway. We don't care about them. Go ahead. Well, we have we have um, memorabilia being raffled off down down over here. Uh, A lot of the cool stuff. We have um, all these t-shirts that we're handing out. There's refreshment stands open. We got a lot going on. Well, I'm looking forward to it. You look good, by the way. So you said you lost a few a few pounds. Are you playing today? I'm, I'm probably going to play. I lost 20 pounds. Yeah, there you go. All right. <laughs> We're in store for a really great treat. Stay tuned. All the action. I'm Donna Drake at the Celebrity versus the Chamber of Ronkonkoma softball meet. Be well. Get down. So, Heather, you and I have more than just our T-shirt in common. Do you want to know what it is? What are you doing today? Singing the national anthem. And what did you do for the rise? Sang the national anthem. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> you ready? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail? Now the twilight last evening, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous light. O'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming. And the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave Celebrity softball game. So go New York Rise and go the celebrities. Woohoo! Today is a great day. Be well. All right, so you got to bring it back. Bring, bring it back. Uh-huh. And you got to step through with it. Here you go. Here we go. You can get a little closer. A little closer if you want. Yeah, yeah. Get there. And it's going to sink a lot, so you want it to go high. Almost. So, John, I heard that you are in the Hall of Fame. What is that about? Not once, but twice. Uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> a couple of Hall of Fames. Yeah, it was pretty exciting, though. Uh, I was very blessed. I had a great career, and uh, things fell in place. It's just uh, a wonderful thing. I played baseball when I was younger, morphed into softball, and uh, things worked out. Are you yeah. pitching for the celebrities today? I am. <laughs> I think we got a ringer. I think we got a ringer. We'll I mean, see. Hall of Fame softball, come on. We're going to win. We're going to win. Thank you. So, Mario, what brought you out here today? Um, It's for cancer, and anything that has to do with cancer, I like to be a part of. Four years ago, I lost my mom to breast cancer and other complications, but, you know, majority that started with cancer, it's sad. It is absolutely and I thank you very much. Have you been playing any gigs lately, performing somewhere lately? Yeah, all over New York City, Chicago, Boston, Los Angeles, Myrtle Beach, everywhere. Well, thanks, and I hope you have a really great time because I think that the National Anthem is going to be playing in just a second. So, Katharina, you are a breast cancer survivor, correct? And okay. cervical cancer survivor from last year, okay. yeah. You're also a wonderful artist. Tell us about your painting. Thank you. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> um, I paint mainly celebrities, um, musicians, and a lot of my work is at the cutting room. And, um, yeah, so uh, and a lot of the, the work that I... That, 
portraits that I did assigned by the uh, by the musicians. The I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and uh, we're about to begin. Are you looking forward to today? I really am. I really I think this is amazing. So welcome, Wel welcome to the the celebrity softball team. <laughs>